Hello everyone, welcome back to another Maya 2015 tutorial. This is our ELF project we've been working on for quite a while. Um, we finished the nose last lesson, um, to some extent anyways. Um, right now we're going to start working on the eye and then we'll integrate it in with the nose. Um, we are going to drop in a piece of backup geometry here to kind of uh, be a placeholder and uh, help us shape the eye. That's what we're going to be working on today. So we're going to go to create. We're going to drop in ourselves a new sphere. And we'll just translate that up over, scale it down, it's roughly the shape of the eye, and we'll rotate it to where it's also facing us. Okay, so let's also go to um, the side view. Bring it forward so that's in the right position, or it's not really going to help us at all. Okay, about like that. Okay. Make sure it's not going to past that is here. Okay, that should do it. Um, Might make it just a little bit bigger. So it kind of fills up that. Yeah, that's a little more like it. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to go to my front view here and I'm going to draw in the geometry I want for right here. Um, I'm going to turn this into a live surface so that as I quad draw, it'll kind of work its way around the sphere a little bit. Okay, try modeling toolkit. Uh, this one here. Turn on quad draw, and we're gonna draw in some of our geometry for our eye here. Try to make it relatively even. Okay, I think that almost works. Let's hop over into our Okay, so if it works from our front view. Let's go ahead and adjust it so it works from our side view as well. Not want to let me manipulate stuff, so I gotta fix some things here. I want to keep both of them open because when you're looking at it from the side view here, um, this edge over here, you know, is a little ambiguous to this edge back here. This is the edge I want to move. I want to get this one actually pushed back quite a bit. This one will be back over here. And this is all has to come back over here as well. And this is like where you'll kind of start seeing that, like, you know, that the reference image and
that these like these these reference images that I've been given just they're not perfect. Which as long as you know that you can work around it and not feel bound to the problem. Um, you can fix the problem. But if you're trying to go back and forth and figure out why it's not working, you may never get there. Okay, um, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, since it was messing this up, just uh, trying to fix it. So let's uh, take this part, take this sphere here, turn off uh, live surface because right now it's not increased transforms. It's not really helping me currently. Um, so I need to push it back so that I can. Fix this geometry a bit. Helped me initially, but now it's it's hurting, not helping. Okay, so let's go ahead and fix it from the front view, and then I'll bring that sphere back in later on and have it help me finish the last part. So I gotta make sure I'm looking at this in all views. So the front view needs to look right, the side view needs to look right, and the three view also has to look right. Um, Yes, that's part of what was going wrong. Okay, that looks okay. Okay, so let's see what we're looking at over here. That's all right. Um, I feel that as far back as the eye is going, that may not work. But let's go ahead and, I mean, this is a, supposed to be cartoon-ish, but I just want to make sure that we're not going too far in the wrong direction. It's supposed to work in 3D, so let's go ahead and add an edge loop here. Okay. It still works over there. Let's go ahead and pull in these as well. Okay, okay. Alright, so that works from the front view, um, from the side view. Uh, I have to decide which way I want to go with this. The side view, the lids go down a little bit lower. Um, I like how wide it is on the side view, but the, how far the eyelid goes back isn't really realistic. Um, so I might end up pushing these in just a little bit. And then pushing this out just a little bit to kind of match with that eyelid. And same thing with these guys right here. And then I'm going to bring these ones down a little bit to kind of match with, oops, the curvature of underneath the eyelid. Okay. Okay, so there's going to be a lot of push and pull here. I'm going to reset the eye back in where it was. Okay, so that's too far forward. Okay. 
to the back again. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, just for time's sake, since we're already 10 minutes in and I don't have a whole lot of geometry to show for it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start fleshing out the rest of underneath the eye and above the eye to kind of get the socket kind of defined. And then from there, I'll be able to refine what this should actually look like. The an edge loop kind of floating in the space is a little hard to work with. So I'm just going to select this whole edge loop on the outside. I'm going to run it in my extrude tool. And I'll just extrude out and create that cavity for where the eye should be. For the top, this kind of needs to let's see here. Let's look at our side panel here. It doesn't really show us a whole bunch, but this is supposed to go up to where the eyebrow is. Um, so we'll just go up a little bit with it. Okay. It doesn't give us a lot of information as far as the side, so I'm just going to um, do something similar to the side. Okay, but I do know that um, if you look at your eyes, that as it gets to the side of your eye, um, that cavity kind of starts to flatten out to where it turns into the side of your head. <clears throat> so I will just adjust that shape as well. You know, these ones also go down. This whole area here kind of flattens out as it gets to the side of your head. Okay, that one's looking okay. And this is going to kind of transcend or transition into your cheekbone. So we're going to translate those faces down just slightly. Okay. There we go. It's looking okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and combine these two pieces of geometry in so I can start working the geometry into the nose. So I'll select both of them, combine them. If I decide later on that I didn't like that idea, then I can always go through and extract and change that. Um, so let's go and do the simplest things first, which would be attaching these areas. Um, so I'm going to go to my modeling toolkit again. I'm going to do target weld. I'm going to take this uh, edge here and attach it into that spot. Take this one and attach it over here. Um, this one here I don't want to attach in quite yet. Um, reason being is because I might want to actually have um, my edge flow continue on around here, which I'll have to have it connect to some of these faces. So I'm not going to jump to that one quite yet. Um, I do want to build up the brow area, and then I'll be able to start working in the rest of the details for the eye. Let's see what we're looking at so far here. Let's move this out. Okay, that's looking all right. Um, we can already actually add in a little bit of the details for the eye. Um, we can grab this edge loop here, um, extrude this whole part here together just a little bit, like so. Okay. Hit G and push it back a little bit further, and then clear it out just a little bit. Okay. You can see it's kind of coming through over here, so I'm actually going to have to scale these things together in that way as well a little bit. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and work in the brow area here, so let's go ahead and jump to up here. I'm going to extrude. So I'm working all my views here. I have to use all of them so I can make sure that the definition is staying correct. So I'm trying to get up to the brow area. Um, 
narrowing it a little bit. But I need to make sure that it looks right over here as well. Okay, and that looks okay, I think, for now. I have to put the white back down for it though. Okay, and then I'm just going to shoot across the brow area and I'll visually have to fix this to where it works. Okay. Obviously, from this view, it doesn't work at all. Um, I'll have to bring that over here and up. And back to edge mode, grab this one and translate that one straight back to where it matches up. That's okay. Alright, so let's see what we're looking at here. Okay, obviously one's a little bit too far forward. I'll have to bring this forward a little bit. The brow. Like I said, the reference images, sometimes they help, sometimes they hurt. You have to be able to decide when you need to be able to use your own spatial reasoning. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and fill this in here. Let's uh, use my pen to polygon tool. We'll just start filling in some of this. Well, hmm, looks like I need to actually uh, add in some edge loops here to make sure this will actually work. Okay, back to pen to polygon. So this edge here needs to be, I mean it's the, the ridge of the brow so I don't want to soften it too much but it has to flow. Okay, back to a pen to polygon. Okay, and now we're getting into where we're going to have to actually extrude off to be able to continue this edge flow, so we'll just extrude this. And then we'll just target well this edge here. There we go. Let's see how we're looking so far. Alright, so that's not too bad. Uh, obviously, we'll have to do some more adjusting. Uh, this isn't even close to being ready yet. Um, for instance, this, uh, these edges here are not set back enough. The brow. So I'll do this for case here without no, being rebellious. Okay, that looks a little more smooth. Um, now that we have this loop here, we can actually add in an extra loop here. That will help us define our eye area. In these areas in here where the eye lid is a little inset, um, we don't actually want that, so we're going to have to push that back in a little bit, push, pull this piece here back out a little bit, and level this off a little bit. Same kind of deal we had to deal with on one side of our raise that whole area there out. Scale them together because I don't want those poking into the nasal area. Okay. 
Okay. Let's check that. Okay, we're getting there. Next, we wanted to also add in an edge loop more near this area. This will help define our eyelid area. Just slightly pushing these back, that will help make the eye a little bit more defined. Okay, so I'm still looking. That's coming along. Still needs a little more work to go, but I don't want to really get too far into refining this until I have the rest of the face kind of in play. Adding a bunch of extra geometry before I'm ready for it um, could cause problems going ahead. So um, I think that this actually is a good stopping point. Um, let's go ahead and just check the mirror really quick. See so how that's looking. Uh, let's go to the threshold, turn that to 0.01. Okay. okay, that's looking decent. Coming along here, we've got a nose and our eyes, and it's trying to get our brow beat in there. Um, still got ways to go though. So um, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. Let's come back to square one here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, this will be a little bit of a shorter lesson this time. Um, we're going to in the next lesson, we'll do the lips and chin, and then we'll start to fill in some of our um, the rest of our face. So um, we're getting there, guys. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Make sure you save. So let's go ahead and actually do that now before we we'll delete the history on this. Go ahead and save scene, continue, and then I'll see you guys in the next lesson.